So far in this series, the Romans, the Spartans, and the Crusaders have each scored 6, 6, and 5. But in this Tabs versus All Armies, it's the turn of the Ironclad faction. They will be facing some epic new factions as well as new secret units. Now, there will be 9 battles in total, but how many battles do you think they're gonna win? Comment down below right now, and by the end of the video, We'll see who's right. But first, a massive thank you to today's sponsor, Opera GX. Now, for those of you who don't know, Opera GX is a web browser, but it's specifically designed for us, the gamers. With Opera GX, you can very easily optimize the performance of your gaming. By simply selecting GX control over here, you can now limit your RAM, CPU, and bandwidth, which obviously, it goes without saying, is going to improve your gameplay. Now, another thing that Opera GX absolutely nails is the design and customization. I really like this dark neon aesthetic, but you might not, and that's fine. Simply click down here and pick one that fits your fancy. Also, seeing as this is a web browser for gamers, this next feature makes quite a lot of sense. By coming over to GX Corner, you can stay up to date with the latest and greatest free games and gaming news. Now, Everything that I have just mentioned there also applies to GX Mobile. That's right, you can do all of this and more while syncing between your desktop and mobile device. So to get started with this awesome web browser for gamers, simply head down to the description and or check out the pinned comments and get started with Opera GX today. Ancient Egypt with Spearman, Cleopatra, and this thing here. All right, here we go. The ironclad knights come over the top of the hill and down into the enemy. Let's see how strong these guys really are, okay? Not very strong, it doesn't look like, and all of these guys have died. Now, the halberds piling in down here. Tell you what, the ironclad's doing a really good job. And yes, that's right, the ironclads have also got child soldiers, but more importantly, they've got cannons. We've got archers. I mean, we're supposed to have these catapults with more child soldiers, but they're deciding not to join the battle, but they might not even need to. Look at the Egyptians, man. They've be- Oh, no, 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 I told a lie. Lots of Egyptians remaining here, but the catapults now in range. Are they gonna get- Yes, they're gonna get deleted. Let's go. Wow, one survived it, but the spearmen- <laughs> has put him down. Yo, what on earth is that? Okay, that must be what the... That must be what the Egyptian thing does then. Okay, every day's a school day. The catapults have wiggled free with the child soldiers. Not far, but... Ooh, it's a small head child soldier. I hope it dies. That small head... Come on, yes! The small head goes down. But they've still got to take down that creepy tower thing. Wh whatever that thing is. Oh, okay. Turns out, not that difficult. That's one victory to the Ironclads. The new tribal faction with T-Rex riders and, um... Okay, here we go. The Ironclads faction is split in three. Let's see what they can do. T-Rex rider. Cavalry going right down the middle here. Let's see how the T-Rex rider has done. He has fallen off the map. The tribal faction closing a distance here. But the Ironclads with the king now in combat. And the tribal boys have been sent flying. They are running for the hills here. And all the cavalry... Cannons are operational, the catapults are still alive, and the tribal faction is not doing too well. Although these boys here, okay then, wow. Don't do it. Oh, he's gonna get whacked off the edge. Goodbye. Yo, at least he took one with him. Okay, let's check out front here. Okay, the stone throwers are elite. Okay, wow. Uh, the rate of fire on those guys is, is ridiculous. Fortunately, our catapults, yo, that guy just sponged that shot to the face. Come on, surely he can't take another one. Okay, he died. And now it's these two catapults against all these stone throwers, but they are slow. Oh, and it comes. Yeah, the catapults are gonna win this. They're just way too slow. <laughs> wow. Catapult moving in for the final guy. And bombs away. Good night. And another victory for the ironclads. 
the Roman army with ballistas, legionaries, and the emperor. Okay, here we go. The Roman faction, known to be one of the most difficult factions. Is he gonna get? No, he's not. Okay, the knights are coming in. Let's see. They have taken down all of the ballistas already. Somehow the cavalry is still standing, but the Romans here slowly taking these guys down. Over on this side, the catapult's dead. So are all the soldiers. Somehow the cavalry is still alive. That finally goes down. The king in the middle here with both cannons behind him. Still alive going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the legionaries. Can he take down the Praetorian Guard? No, he can't. And now the cannons. The last line of defense for the ironclads getting beaten quite predictably by the Romans, seeing as the Romans are one of the most elite factions we've got. That's the final unit going down. And is this guy gonna fall off the edge? No, he's gonna get shot off the edge. And is that it? There we go. That's a defeat for the ironclads. Ironclads. The Aztec Empire with clubbers, spear throwers, and blow darts. Okay, here we go. The cavalry begins the charge uphill. Let's see how effective that's gonna be. And in they go. Oh my god. Okay, the catapult doing quite a lot of damage. All the clubbers are dead. We're now down to these swordsmen. The king has entered the battle. I feel like the catapults. Yep, there we go. Once again, the king making his way up the hill to the blow darters, the spear throwers. That guy got deleted. And the I genuinely think these are the final units. The king is dead, and that's game over. Well, that was an absolute bloodbath, but it's still an ironclad victory. Ancient Korea with spearmen, cavalry, and the Huacha. Okay, here we go. This one always makes me nervous. The cavalry is all dead. Now the Huachas, yeah, that's what makes me nervous. Yeah, okay, well, this is really not going well for the Ironclads. Not at all. Wow, the Huachas over here deleting. Okay, catapults returning fire. And the child soldiers for the Ironclads are in combat. And they're dead and... And I think they... Oh, no, no, no. Some of these guys are still alive. We've got a... Oh, no, we don't. He's dead. And the Huacha coming in to finish the job. Okay, then. That was a complete and utter disaster. And results in a defeat for the Ironclads. I'm live streaming right now. The link is down below. Come say hi. And whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe and turn notifications on. But now... Bring on the next battle. Ancient Gaul with warband, spear throwers, and the chieftain. Okay, here we go. Is the cavalry prepared for this? No, I don't think it is. But it's charging in nonetheless right over the top and has made contact. How long can they survive for? Actually, pretty long is the answer. Chieftain now moving over the bridge, dodged the halberds in the middle. He is already enraged. And actually, almost all of the ironclads are somehow already dead back here. But look at that catapult shot. This one catapult could literally win this for them. I mean, they've also got a bunch of archers. Is the catapult about to go down? Not before he gets a big shot off. And that's a child soldier down. The boys are now moving around the side. And there we go. The catapult has gone down. And that right there was the final archer. So that's another defeat for the ironclads. The Spartan Royal Guard with Leonidas and his 300. Okay, here we go. The Ironclads trying to fit through the gap as the cavalry makes contact and immediately gets slaughtered. Wow, no. Oh my god, something we never thought we'd see. Spartans actually running away from the Ironclad King with that ability. And oh, wow. Wow. That's a lot of dead Ironclads. And the Spartans have already breached through the front lines. Oh, only a handful of cannons and archers remain, and good lord, this was not even remotely close. Is there anyone under there? I can't tell, but they're actually team killing themselves. There must be someone down there. Yes, there is. Look at that dude right there. And the Spartans are killing themselves to get to it. He is now under about 15 Spartan bodies, and they're not getting closer. Look at his head. He's popping up for air every now and again, but now he's completely buried. How many Spartans are remaining? 
here. Totally accurate battle simulator at its finest. And there we go. Leonidas just killed his final ally. Okay, there is a solution to this. Bug DLC enabled. And using the push ability, we're gonna force these guys to fight. Let's dig him out. Let's dig him out. Okay, he's he's now got an arm free. There's now an arm poking through. But we're not done yet. Let's keep pushing the bodies until he's free. Okay, there we go. He is now out. Now we can get the final stand. Leonidas and it didn't take long for him to get put to sleep. Leonidas is the last man standing, meaning that's a defeat for the Ironclads. Ancient China with crossbows, swordsmen, and archers. Okay, here we go. Once, oh no, one of the cavalry is a small head. Come on, die, 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 die. Let's see, he's fallen down here. Oh, I really hope he gets gibbed. Now the Chinese army is leaving the Great Wall, or should I say the not so Great Wall of, oh my God, the not so Great Wall of China. And we're gonna find out if they can take down the cannons and the catapults. Let's see down here, is the small head dead? Okay, I'm just gonna take control right here. We just got, we gotta do it, okay, we gotta do it. Okay, no, he tried to stay on. Okay, he's gone. The child soldiers moving in down here with the halberds. And wow, that guy just got destroyed. One crossbow left on top of the great wall. We're about to find out what happens to him. And that's what happens to him. Wow, this guy is holding on for dear life. Whatever you do, what? I don't know. What is he doing? What is he doing? Totally accurate battle simulator. You, you literally couldn't write it. Look at what's happening right now. This guy who was holding on for dear life is, I don't know, how, how, what, how do I explain this? Believe it or not, the longer he stays there for, the worse it's getting. Thank God for that. The battle has ended with the final kill over here and another ironclad victory. The Wave 6 Zombies, attacking from four different positions. Okay, here we go. The Ironclad faction will be defending this castle. Let's see what the catapult can do. Oh, what? It barely killed any of them. On the other side, also barely did anything. The king getting pinned down here. The sides of the cannons have been well and truly overrun. The zombies are in the middle already. Ripped to that archer, I guess. Oh, somehow this side's not done too badly, but it doesn't matter because all the the other sides are dead, bar the side that had the king on it. And the king and his halberds are about to be put down as well. And that right there was yet another clean sweep for the wave six zombies, meaning another defeat for the ironclads. There we have it. The ironclads only win four battles, meaning they finish behind the Romans, Spartans, and the Crusaders. Thanks again to Opera GX for sponsoring this video. And don't forget, I'm live streaming right now. The link is down below. Come and say hi. Now, whilst you're down there, don't forget to subscribe, turn notifications on. Finally, like and comment. Which faction do you want to see next? Bye!